Lord, have you lost weight, perhaps? Uh, not that I know of, but thank you. <laughs> no, he does look thinner. Mm. Oh, you both flatter me. Not flatter, my lord. Thinner? <laughs> well, I suppose you two look thinner, too, then. Yeah. How possible I'm fatter, if anything. You seem shorter, too, Your Honor. Shorter, yes, much shorter. That doesn't carry the same complimentary weight as thinner, but <laughs> funny I don't feel shorter. Sire, is this your big shoe? <laughs> yes, give that back. Must have fallen off. You're shrinking, my king. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? We didn't know how to tell you. I'm not shrinking. Yes, my lord, you are. Oh, yeah? Well, you're shrinking. How do you like that? Doesn't feel so good, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, see? But we're not shrinking, my and lord. And I remember a time when you didn't have to use that stool. I like the stool. I use it because it's fun. You use it because you're shrinking. Hey, is this some new kooky way of impeaching me? Not at all, sire. We are your humble servants, my presence of king. Well, well, then, very good, then. That seems settled. Is it settled? Then good. Okay, no more talking of shrinking, then, all right? Okay, could uh, somebody just help me off this stool, please? Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, good. I'm off to go shopping, then. How are we on toilet paper? Good. Get some. Get some? Get some. All right, write it down. T-O, uh, forget it. I'll remember. Okay, I'll be back soon. Goodbye, my lord. He's definitely shrinking. We should prepare for his eventual disappearance. I forgot my wallet. When he disappears, I'll take over, oh goody. With me as your woman commander. Of course, I nearly forgot. <laughs> <laughs> They're plotting against me. Good thing I'm shrinking or they'd see me. It feels soft. I think it feels flat. It's soft and flat like a bathroom rug. Mm. It also feels forced. Like somebody forced a bathroom rug into something. Like a hamper. <sighs> I hate my acting. It's horrible. You think you were bad? What about me? I couldn't act my way into a paper bag. Into. Are you guys serious? <laughs> you think Thanks. My acting sucks on ice. What was I doing up there? You know, not, not acting, that's for sure. You know, that was Hey, just... Brenda, why don't you put some extra bait on that hook? <laughs> yeah, don't forget your tackle box for your compliment fishing trip. I thought we were all fishing for compliments. That's what we were... No, forget it. See, look. Hey, Brenda, grow a Ahab beard. <laughs> okay. Guys, guys. Maybe I will. Your captain of the Brendan. SS compliment. Guys, should we maybe rehearse this more and reshoot it? Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Yeah, nobody's acting is that bad. You're acting like a child. What does that mean? Wait, me or him? Both of you. But I am a child, so thank you. Do you want to elaborate, Linda? You didn't want to race because of your shoes. That's what you well, said. How do you know what I really wanted to do? Can I jump in and say something? Go ahead, Brandon. Brandon. It, never mind. L L Linda, we said, let's race to the car, and you said you couldn't because of your shoes, and, you know, so we just... It, Honey, it, you were wearing beautiful shoes, but maybe you should carry extra shoes on days with Brendan. And you said you didn't want to race anyway. But I did. I just couldn't because of my shoes. Well, maybe we can go shoe shopping after this. Or we can schedule shoe outing for the three of us. Don't patronize me. I'd like to stop you I'm there. not patronizing you. I'm just saying. Oh, what are you saying then? Hey, I've got an idea. Well, let's reschedule the race and we'll just let Linda win. Brandon, <sighs> do not patronize Linda. I thought I was patronizing you. Real nice. I can't believe we're arguing about shoes. No, don't do that. It's more than that. And maybe we should argue about something else. I'd like to stop you there, no, too. No, it's serious. If you can't interpret what's really going on, then how well is this whole thing going to work? It's stupid. Well, maybe it is stupid. Well, then it's unanimous. Something stupid. Brendan. Hey, I'm sorry, but, you know, I am the winner of the race, Dylan. Oh, and can we stop talking about the stupid race? I'm going to stop us there. I'm so embarrassed. Well, that's why I taped the first session, so that we can see how embarrassing we are. Man, my acting is horrible. I'm really in a slump. Does this cost more, the taping? A little. <clears throat> Listen, Doctor, I'd like to apologize for everybody's bickering. And I'd, I'd, I'd like to accept our apology. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, good. But the main issue here is communication. 
And there was some abrasive talk that day, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. The word stupid was used, huh? Stupid. Ouch. <laughs> stupid is a very hurtful word, and you raised your voices, you pointed fingers. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, Dad, I'm not looking for an apology. But if the three of you are willing, I'd like to show you a communication technique I've pioneered called gentle talk. Guys? Sounds stupid, but okay. Brandon? Sure, it, it does sound stupid, but, uh, okay. Great. Well then, let me start off easy on y'all. I feel that it would be in your best interest. Let's get used to that phrase, huh? And let's try to use that phrase in place of the word should. Should is an ugly word, isn't it? Sure. It is? Since when? Oh, yes, it is. When one is telling another that they should do something, that's your critical parent talking. We don't like to be criticized, do we, gang? No. No. How about you, little skipper? You don't like criticism, do you? Crit what criticism? Uh, no. I don't mind giving it, but, uh... No, we don't. <clears throat> I feel that it would be in your best interest to wear some running sneakers because me and the boy would like to race with you to the car today. See? That's a little more gentle, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's very interesting. I, I like what you said about the things, and, uh, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening at all. Time out! Ref, time out! Melissa, Brendan, come here. That's right, on the double. Hustle it up. <clears throat> yeah? Coach, are we in trouble? I want you two to look at my gums. I don't want to look at your gums, no. Coach. Come on, I can't see them from here. All right. Oh, gross. Are you bleeding? Uh, yep. You hurt yourself? Oh, Brandon, it's called gingivitis. Like on TV. Right, or in the movies. Right. <clears throat> Why don't you just go to the dentist? I hate the dentist. Me too, because every time I go to the dentist, my tongue gets depressed. <laughs> Thank you. You floss, Brendan? No way. Oh, me neither. Time in! Mom, I don't... I don't like going to therapy with Dad and Linda. It's only for a trial basis, you know? You could yeah, just give it a try. Yeah. Look, your dad I, thinks it'll help you guys deal with the tension of Linda being in your lives. Wait, that came out wrong. No, but it is tense. Yeah, I'm going out of my mind. But are you learning anything? I mean, psychology can be kind of interesting. Well, I learned that should is a word I shouldn't use. Why shouldn't you? I don't know, because it makes a doctor mad. He should lighten up a little. Well, maybe you should lighten up a little. Maybe you should go to therapy with Linda. Maybe she should lighten up a little. Maybe everybody should lighten up a little. What should we have for dinner? We should have pizza. We should have salad, too. You should have salad. Maybe Linda should have the salad. I feel that it would be in her best interest. Should be in her best interest. What should be in whose best interest? The salad. The salad's in Linda's best interest? No, the pizza's in the salad's best interest. The pizza's in the salad's best interest. The best interest. Yeah, well, the point is, Brendan, yeah. you don't have to go to therapy. But I think a person like you really should. <laughs> How was school, Brendan? Blah. Well, great. And how was your day, Linda? Hmm. Fantastic. <sighs> hey, guys, look. I, I want to try to communicate a little more. I mean, I don't want to force us to do anything, but the sessions aren't going to help unless we try to apply what he's teaching us. You know what I mean? Well, let's talk then. I say let's order. I feel it would be in our best interest to talk first. I think I'm gonna get to... Do you guys want to know what I did today? I had the worst day. Well, I got in early, I talked to a few clients, I have a case next week. And, no, it, uh, not next week, in a week and a half. I nearly got in an accident. Oh, I wasn't finished, sweetie. I'm sorry? You interrupted me, honey. Right. Did you even hear what I said? You almost got in an accident? Yeah, I could have been killed. Well, I'm sorry about that. I mean, but my point is that if we don't allow each other to finish sentences, then how are we going to learn to communicate better? Yeah, so it's not important at all that I was practically killed. No, it's always important when you're practically killed. But that's not the issue. Oh, really? Really? Great. That's fine. Sweetheart, yes, come on. I agree. 
All right, tell us about the act. No, I don't want to now. Please, it's important. Well, I'm driving down Elmwood, and this pickup truck comes from out of nowhere. My soccer coach has gingivitis. Well, that's probably because he doesn't floss. He doesn't, I asked him. Do you floss? No way, do you? No way. <laughs> hey, what about me? Whoops. Jeez. I'm sorry, honey, do you floss? Ugh. You know what? I'll be in the car if you need me. No, don't do that. Tell us what happened. You almost got killed. Oh, my God. <clears throat> huh. Well, uh, should we go get her? No. Yeah, I mean, uh, she's a little testy since we started this therapy stuff. You don't say. I need the keys. Right. Yeah, and, uh, hey, that reminds me. I told the therapist that you made movies. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and he said bring some over to the next session because he'd really like to see him. Oh, that's cool. Where did you park? I'd like to be taken out of the box now, please. Yes, Lord. Thank you. You know, I don't want to sound ungrateful because I appreciate you two making the shoebox bed for me, but it's a it's a little dark and musty in there. And uh, we made air holes for you, my lordship. Yes, and your bed is too big now that you've taken up shrinking. Ah 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 ah! Whoa! We don't use that word. I am reverse growing. You're acting up. He's acting up. Maybe we should feed him. I can feed myself. Thank you. Can one of you just pass me the soup and the eyedropper, please? please? I'm sorry, please. my lord. Is that my handkerchief you're wearing? You mean my hanker toga? <sighs> yes, it's mine. You stole it. Hey, I can do whatever I want. I am the king. Not for long. <laughs> what? Nothing. 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 <laughs> Hey, am I out of my mind, or are you two plotting to overthrow me or something? No. Oh, never, my lord. Never. I'll be the woman commander. What is that overthrow? It's going to be great. Mother. Because I get the feeling that you are plotting against me. You must be out of your mind, my lord. Right. And you will be the king. I can't wait to be king. Because I can hear you plotting against me. You're crazy, my lord. Crazy. I think you're overtired. Hmm. Maybe you should get some sleep so we can smash you. What? He just said get some sleep so we can smash you. Oh, okay, well, that's... A, all right. Hey, wait a minute. I'm not sleepy. I'd like to stop us there. Brendan? Yep. There's a lot going on there. But you know which character I think is the most interesting? Who? The one that you played. The President King, yeah. That's, that's my favorite, too. Well, I didn't say favorite. I said interesting. Interesting because that character clearly has a number of psychological ailments. He's got a Napoleon complex. He's narcissistic. He's claustrophobic. He's delusional. Mm -hmm. He's paranoid. Right. He thinks that some authoritative male female team is plotting against him. Sure. And he's slowly disappearing. Yeah. Uh, he's pretty screwed up. That character is you, Brendan. Right. I played him. You can tell from my nose. No, Brendan. That character represents who you are. Yeah, I know. If you just fast forward, the credits say so. Brendan, you, in real life, have these issues. No way. And that character is you. Because I played him. No. In real life, you are those things. You didn't like the movie, did you? It was fine, but the President King... Is me, because you recognize my voice. <sighs> I feel your true feelings about your father remarrying have come out in your work. Hey, look, let's not overanalyze this. I have to. Oh, well. Dad, Linda, I think we've had a big breakthrough today. We found a big roadblock in the family, and that roadblock is right there. <laughs> You're melon chested, Brendan. Well, may maybe melon chested is the wrong word, but you know, I am messed up. Do you mean maladjusted? That's it. See, I, that's it. I'm screwed in the head. I'm insane in the membrane. No, you are not, Brendan. Well, Dr. What's his face seems to think so. Well, Dr. What's his face is wrong. 
you're fine. Look, there's nothing wrong with reacting to your father remarrying. I've been doing it all week. Well, why did you have to get remarried anyway, you know? Who knows? I knew this therapy thing was a bad idea. You said psychology was interesting. Only in theory. Not when it makes you feel bad about feeling strange about a thing that's totally natural and not your fault. Uh, yeah, but Dad wants everybody to be happy. Ugh, this is another one of his stupid antiseptic remedies. It's clinical and detached. It's nonsense. I should talk to him. I, I'm going to talk to no, him. No, 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 no. Listen, just let me know if you want out, okay? I'll write you a note. You keep it in your pocket. If you feel weird, pull it out and give it to the doctor. Well, what do you write on it? I, I have no idea. Something along the lines of, listen, you crazy idiot. It sounds aggressive. Okay, maybe I'll do a rewrite. Here's a piece of advice, Brandon. There's no such thing as psychology. It's all made up crap. Oh, really? Yeah. They're yeah. all con men. Yeah. All of them. Even the women. Oh. Just remember that when they're telling you how screwed up you are. Okay. And uh, let me tell you something else. Astronomy is BS, too. Really? Yeah, all that star crap is ridiculous. But there are stars. Whatever, Brandon. Okay. Will you ever, you ever go to a therapist? Oh, well, yeah. Sometimes you, you got to do certain things to re-enter society. All right? Yeah. <sighs> I guess I've got some issues. Well, like what? I'll fix them. Well, I, I guess I'm slightly frustrated about my father remarrying. You know, this, this... That's a load of crap, Brendan. Yeah, well... well come on. That's psychobabble. What? Don't fall prey to it, Brendan. Okay. What does that mean, though? So what were you saying? I was saying, uh, I guess I'm slightly frustrated about my father remarrying. You know, the oh, woman... Well, that makes sense. The woman he's marrying, though, you know? Well, what, is she ugly? No, actually, she's attractive. Which is really attractive? Pretty attractive, yeah. She could be on a magazine. Really? Yeah. What type of magazine? Like a dirty mag or, a, or like one of those model mags? Uh, like a model mag, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, you're jealous? Oh, no way. No, no, no. She is not my type. She's, she is way too wound up. Well, so are you, Brendan. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, you are. No. Yeah, see? What? You're defensive. Well, it's because you're accusing me. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being wound up, Brendan. All right. And you're, like, weak and sickly. Yeah. You're a little short, too. Whoa, Nothing whoa wrong there. with that either, Brendan. Nothing wrong with being short. You make up for it. In uh, other ways. Right. You use your head, for instance. Sure, sure. Yeah, what? Yeah, but anyway, Brendan, it's clear to me you're jealous. No way. Yeah. No. And this woman probably acts like a baby. You know, and acting like a baby's your job, right? <laughs> no. Nope. And she's stepping on your toes, and you hate her, even though really deep down you wish that she was marrying you. What? You heard me. No, no. And maybe, uh, you opened your father's bedroom door, and she was just getting out of the shower. Yeah. And she had just a towel on. Uh, you know, and that towel was riding really low, exposing a lot of cleavage. Whoa. And she's all wet. Yeah. The skin's all fresh after then you can smell it. So calm down. Just pure clean. Clean and nude and beautiful. Yeah. It's textbook stuff, Brendan. <laughs> Look, the bottom line is you're going to be fine. You're just a kid. Right. You know, well, you grow up and everything... Oh, well, it doesn't work out. Anyway, Brendan, one last thing. Yeah? Oh, man. <sighs> okay, go ahead, Linda. Use the gentle talk. Use it to say something to Brendan. Well, Brendan... Good. Now we're cooking. I feel that you and I misunderstand each other, and maybe we should... Ouch. What happened there, Linda? What do we say about the word should? All right. Try again, Linda. Maybe it would be in our best interests to try to understand each other. Linda? That was just what the doctor ordered. <sighs> Brendan, I know you must be feeling a, a little fragile after hearing that, and if you'd like to cry, well, that's all right. I think I'm going to be okay. I would like us to hear your response to that, Brendan. Okay, well, uh, I think it's kind of easy for Linda to say that we should understand Ouch. each other. Each other, because now she's off the hook and the pressure's on me. Brendan. And wait, no, I think I've got something here. Uh, Linda? Yeah? I don't dislike you, 
but I dislike being around you. Whoa, whoa, Brendan. I, and I can say that because we don't know each other at all, and neither of us is making any effort at all. But, you know, who knows? Maybe we should. But ouch. then again, you know, maybe we shouldn't. Ouch. I don't know, you know? I ouch, mean, ouch, ouch, Brendan. Ouch. I'm concerned with your behavior. Yeah, what's new? Brendan, I know you know about gentle talk. I'm being passive-aggressive, aren't I? No. Your aggression isn't passive at all, it's active aggression. So you're saying it should be more passive then? No. And ouch, because you used the word should again. Brendan, I've got some homework for you. I would like you to try to express exactly how you feel to somebody with whom you have a difficult time communicating using gentle talk. All right? Uh, no and no. I, uh, I wanted to speak to you about the food. All right, what? Okay, uh, first of all, what, uh, what is this? It's chicken fried steak. Chicken fried, chicken fried steak, okay. I, I, uh, I... It's steak fried in chicken fat. It's good for you. Okay. Um, I feel that it's important that you know how I, I feel about the chicken fried steak. You enjoy it. You like it. Yes. I feel that when I tried this that I, I felt that I could vomit. All right. Okay. And the, uh, I feel that was in a, uncalled for. Did you feel that? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel that that was... How about another? Ow. So let's move on. Okay. I felt it was important to say something. Are you mad at me? No. I just feel that I get bored sometimes when you talk about work. Oh, well, I didn't know that. And I feel that what you just said is an aggressive attack on me. I feel that you're raising your voice and trying to hurt my feelings. Well, I feel that I'm honestly responding. Well, I feel that if it weren't for your son, we wouldn't be spending all our time and money in stupid therapy. Stupid? You just used the word stupid in a sentence directed at me. <laughs> All right, let's start off easy today. Dad, how's about you say something nice to Linda to open things up? Do you always have to call me Dad? Well, no. Because I'm not your father. I'm aware of that. I don't like it when you call me Dad. Well, that kind of hurts my feelings. Sorry. I feel some aggressive energy from your side of the room over there. Because I have a name. It's Andrew, okay? Okay, Andrew. Well, uh, we'll come back to that. But now I'd like for us to get into a circle around Brendan. And this is an exercise to show Brendan his strength so he won't be so insecure. Hey, I'm right here. Jeez. Dad, would you like to start? What'd I just say? My fault. Andrew, would you like to begin? Why don't we start with Linda? Well, why not? Go ahead, Linda. Brendan, I feel that you're talented. Hey, thanks. Great, Linda. I'm going to go next. Brendan, I feel that you're a real go-getter, and someday maybe I feel that you're going to relax and enjoy life with your father and Linda. Stop already! Jeez, nobody talks this way. This is unnatural. Brendan? I was complimenting you. Well, that's probably why it sounded unnatural. Besides, you weren't. You hope I relax someday is what you said. That's not a compliment. This is ridiculous. No, I, I can't do this. If he's not, then I'm not. Well, I'm not. Well, if they aren't, then neither am I. Let's all calm down and try to diffuse this anger. No way. I'm mad and I like it. Me too. Good for you. Way to go, Brendan. You leave him alone and don't talk to him like that, Linda. I'll be in the car if you need me. I don't think I will need you. Then I'll be in a cab. Oh, doctor, I forgot. I have a note from my mom. I won't be coming back. You know why? Because therapy sucks! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that felt good. Ouch. Could I get some money for a cab? I'm sorry I put you through that. I'm still feeling the adrenaline. It's like extreme therapy. Well, I learned a lot. So, uh, am I still invited to the wedding? There still is a wedding. So, are you saying that Linda might not marry you? 
I really don't know, Brendan. So she's available. Very funny. You think I'm joking? I've got issues, Dad. Got, uh, where are we going? Taking you to your mother's. Where are you going? We gotta have a long talk with Linda. Oh. I take it upon myself to welcome you as my new husband. Yes, my sweet piece of angel cake. I, too, take you as my new wife. Ha! Let me just get the ring. Uh, yes, uh, the ring, please, if it's not too much trouble. All right, that was that would be me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Definitely gonna need the, uh, ring. <clears throat> this baby's got a lot of pockets. <laughs> the ring, please, I say. Should have worn a three-piece. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, everybody, uh, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> <laughs>